Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna make a quick blur transition between two different videos in Shotcut. I just feel like trying it out whether I can do it. I have not actually tried it yet. We're gonna start by just dragging in two video clips. I'm gonna take this drone shot of London, drag it in here, drag it to the timeline, all right, and we're gonna take this other shot of uh, some 3D video gamey cyberspace -y environment. Let's just drag it in here as well. I'm just gonna go to View, Show Toolbars. I'm gonna drag this up so we can see more of a timeline for now. I'm also gonna add music so we have a nice transition point. Oh, let, before I drag it in, let me just right click here and press Add Audio Track. Control U would be an alternative. I drag it in here and then I drag it to a timeline. So I'm going to randomly pick this spot as where the video uh, transitions. So I'm going to make a cut with S while it's selected. I'm going to delete this with a delete key on the keyboard. And over here, I guess here, let's make another cut here. S, uh, not right click remove, but click and delete. All right, I'm going to move them to one another. And uh, I'm just going to align them with the music. Yeah, I'm going to put the cut exactly here where the music changes. Come on now. All right, there you go. Let's just test it real quick. I like it. All right, let's just get rid of the rest. Uh, how do we do this? I think Alt arrow key. Perfect, exactly. Now I'm going to click this. S, right click, remove, find... Oh, it doesn't move all. Let me just undo that. Uh, how, how do we do this? Is this in here? Ripple all tracks. Oh, control alt R. Exactly. All right. So again, right click, remove. Oh, perfect. Now we're just going to alt right. Oh, that's bad. That sounds bad. But, uh, you know, alt key and right arrow key. Uh, click on this clip and S. And now I'm going to remove this as well. Okay. So now we have our 16 seconds. 17, 17, 17? Oh, I didn't realize what uh, the, the first clip I imported must have been at 60 frames per second. Well, why not? Okay, uh, let's let's check out the transition again. I mean, first let's rearrange the whole scene. All right, we only need to, we don't even need to see the music really. Uh, we we can keep the audio uh, meter. Let's play it back again. I like it. I like the music. So now let's add the transition with the blur in. That's what I want to do. So we could just apply filters to the individual clips, but I'm going to split them because I think I'm going to add... Come on, S. There we go. Because I think I'm going to add one blur in filter at the beginning also and at the end. So I'm just going to split them. All right. We're going to start with a transition here between those two. For this, we're just going to go to the Filter tab. If, it, if you don't see it, go to View, Filters, and then View Filters again. And then while the clip is selected, which I want to blur out, I want the blur to start at the end. I'm going to press a plus and just search for Blur. There it is. Okay, so I clicked the Blur filter and I want to keyframe it. So for this, I'm going to go to View, Keyframes. And keyframes are here. Timeline is here. I'm just going to drag the timeline over here so I can see the timeline and the keyframes at the same time. I don't know if other people do this as well. Uh, maybe it's just me, but so far I prefer it this way. We're going to go ahead and just use simple keyframes for now. For this, we drag this slider to the left while the clip is selected. Okay, while it's at the end, okay, you have to kind of readjust it and maybe use the arrow keys to really be at the end. You can use control mouse wheel or these icons to zoom in out. And are we at the end? Yeah, I think we're at the end. Left, er, right. Okay, so when the font here is white rather than gray, you can, uh, you know you are at a keyframe point. Okay, so I'm going to set this to, let's say, 25. 25. This is also kind of cool, but we're going to go with uh, complete blur. All right, let's go for 55. 
Mm, maybe 111? Okay, 100 seems to be the... 99 is the max. That's, uh, these, uh, these limitations seem so arbitrary, but whatever, let's play it back. I might have overdone it, let's try again. I think this one was a bit too slow, my eyes don't like it, so let's slow it down. And now we're gonna play it back again. Let's try again. Okay, maybe that's okay. So now also let's uh, add the same effect to this clip, the one that follows. B-L-U-R. And uh, where are we here? Where? I think this is where I want the blur to end. So let's move this slider. Oh, come on. Move this over here. Uh, we're gonna try to get to the point where... Oh yeah, we just have to be with the playhead somewhere between this point and the point here to manipulate the center. Uh, so let's see, can we change this to 1? Because uh, why, why is it not 1? Bit strange. Anyways, let's go to the front with home key. And uh, this one, again, 99. We're just gonna try out 99. And now we're gonna play it all back. Alright, clearly I want this to be quicker. And I'm pretty sure I want it to not be 99, so I'm gonna go to the first frame of this clip. Okay, I used the home key for that. A bit strange that I see the last frame of a previous clip. Can I go one to the right? Oh, actually no. There's some kind of discrepancy between the keyframes and the playhead in the timeline. So I guess I have to go here and maybe just drag it. Yeah, just dragging it here is better. So this I'm gonna set to 25 after all. And this one... I just pressed left arrow key, also 25. And now we're gonna try it all out. I kinda like it. Let's just uh, render it real quick so we can see how it really looks. I'm just gonna go to File, Export Video, and Export File. Okay, I have to say, I think I'm good with the timing and I like the blur amount. What I want to do now is I want to make it also darker because the second uh, clip has a very dark background. As you can see, I think it would be nice if we would fade to black, kind of. So let's try that as well. Here in the first clip we're gonna go to filters and add another filter. And I suppose it could be called Al Alpha or Opac... City. Oh, opacity is here. All right, let's do opacity. And it can be keyframed. So let's say that. Use keyframes for this parameter. All right, so now we have advanced keyframes down here. Let's move this up. And we're going to go to the end. We're going to set this to 20%, I think, here. I'm just typing it in. I feel safer about that. We could also drag this, I suppose. This is opacity. All right. So let's play this back. I'm not sure it actually works right now because I don't see it yet. So it might not work. Let's disable blur. Back to opacity. Alright, there might be an issue with there not being a background, even though backgrounds usually are completely black. So let's just add another video track by right-clicking here and add video track. Uh, that's not what I meant. Let's delete this track. And now let's click here. Right-click, insert, I mean add video track. No, that's really not what I wanted. Well, I guess we'll have to manually drag them all up there. That's not nice. I think... Oh. Okay, I hope this worked. I don't know, man. Why is it saying plus one? Alright, let's... 
Well, I do have the track, but uh, the fact that there is nothing in it might be a problem. So let's go to File, Open Other, and Generator Color, and we're gonna... Okay, I, that's interesting. I have two languages here. And I'm just gonna add uh, black, pure black. Okay, and I'm gonna drag this to this. I'm gonna try to drag, hello. All right, so I think I'm at a state where the, the program is a bit buggy. Let's just save a project, file, save. Well, remember to subscribe, by the way. I'm just gonna restart shortcut. All right, here's a project. And now let's... Okay, let's try to do this again. File, open other, color, and uh, I like how it says transparent, but we want black. And the black goes in here. All right, here we go. So that is interesting. Um, it used to be that you really had to restart the program many times for things to work. I haven't had these kind of issues in a while. All right, uh, let me just alt key and left key and split and remove this part. All right, I'm gonna just save the project for good measure and let's see if there's... Ah, there we go, now transparency is working. Or maybe it was just because I restarted the project. Let's see if blur and opacity is working. It seems to be. It seems to be. Let's give it another spin. I think it's working. Let me just disable this track uh, and check if it's actually because of this track. Yeah, I think it is. I think it actually is. Very interesting. Too bad because this means a lot of more uh, rendering processing time. Anyways, I'm just gonna add opacity to this clip as well. Let's just go for uh, typing, opa. And I'm just gonna jump ahead to here. No, here, here. Here it's gonna be 100. I'm gonna click the clock, uh, drag this up again. And I'm gonna go to the front with Alt key, left key, Alt key, left key. And here I'm gonna set it to, I think 50% is enough for this dark clip. Okay, and now we're gonna just, because uh, we can already see the preview is very laggy. I'm gonna instead just go for an export. Uh, export video. Export file, blur, and opacity, and here it is rendering. Okay, I do like the transition, but I noticed that there is an issue. And that being when the blur filter kicks in, it actually blurs one pixel. I mean, it blurs by one pixel, you can notice it. So what you would want to do is actually limit the duration of the clip to where the keyframe is, uh, the keyframing is actually happening. Let's hope we can fix it by just dragging this to the right. Let's click, let's check opacity. I think that might have broken it. Control Z. Yeah, I think this destroyed uh, the whole thing and you can't apparently undo keyframe stuff. So let's just remove these two. And this shows us that you have to plan ahead. But now we know, now we know that we have to be a bit more exact with the duration of the clips. Uh, I did not want that. All right, let's come on, extend until here. What is this? 
Oh, I removed the wrong... Okay, this, here we go. So again, let's extend this to here and extend this to right, right back. Oh, oh, why does the playhead, what is, just let me freaking extend this thing. Okay, at this point I think we have to restart, control S to save and close shortcut and let's start shortcut again. Let's open blur.mlt. What? Autosave? No. Well, this messed up this project for sure. Let's try to recover it. I mean, we're doing this live. Uh, so it just eliminated the second clip somehow. Anyway, so let's extend this until this cut and then extend this until here. Again, even though this cut kind of looks cool too, I want to try out the blur. So I'm gonna cut it here and cut it here. And I'm gonna add the blur filter. And this time I wanna try using the advanced keyframes. Let's see if that works. So Alt key right, one to the left. Let's set this to 25 and this to 25. 25. And then we're gonna jump with Alt left key to the beginning and there we're gonna set this to is zero possible? No, one pixel is the minimum. Yeah, I think I remember having a discussion about this on the forums. All right, let's check it. So that works. And now we're gonna add opacity as well. Press here, opacity. And we're gonna use the advanced keyframes again. Alt, right key, I can't stress this enough using shortcuts in shortcut, haha, <laughs> is super good. 20. I hope that worked properly. And I'm gonna jump to the beginning, Alt, left arrow key, and this is gonna be 100. Alright. Let's give it a, let's just try it out one more time. Yeah, that's the way I want it. And now we're gonna do this here with blur. Beginning is gonna be 25. And 25. And uh, alt right key. And this is gonna be 1. And 1. And the same with uh, opacity where it is going to be 100 at the end and at the beginning it's going to be at the beginning it's going to be 20 right all right just gonna try it one more time i think it passes let's let's export it and take a look it is really interesting to see. Uh, you can recover from these weird glitches. So earlier I thought that Shotcut removed some clips. Maybe I just got confused and it was me. No matter whether you or Shotcut makes a mistake, you can kind of recover from it by saving the project and uh, opening it up again. All right. Great, this was a bit shorter than I hoped for, but I like it. And I'm and I am definitely glad to now know how to exactly do this in shortcut. I definitely recommend combining the blur transition with a opacity transition, especially if the color, the main color of the screen changes. If the resulting would be white, then you might want to use a white background for such a transition. Anyways, I'm glad uh, that this worked and I hope it was useful for you as well, not just for me. Let me know in the comments what you think and what kind of shortcut tricks you found out in the meanwhile, in the meantime while I wasn't making videos. And uh, apart from that, I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao! And remember to subscribe.